hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new i am elsie michelle if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning to my channel and supporting me even though i've been really inconsistent and i've been mia for quite a while but as you can tell by the title i have a lot to update you guys as far as what's been going on where i am so yeah if you're interested in finding out or staying up to date with miss elsie michelle please continue to watch so a couple months ago i moved to the sunshine state <laughs> Yes, I moved to Florida, um, I went on a vacation, and in less than a week, I had to go back home and pack all my stuff up, and um, I moved. But before I move forward with the video, I would like to say rest in peace to Miss Mia Marcano, because when I moved, it was around her death. Um, you know, for me, you know, you hear things in the news, and it makes you sad, and it's like, oh my god, it's unfortunate that things happen. But when it's someone that, you know, I didn't know her personally, but when it's someone that has ties to where you're from, it definitely touches you a bit different. Um, you know, she was violated in her own home. Um, I definitely took certain steps to make sure that I feel safe in my own home, um, or just in general. Being safe can mean, especially for women, it could mean, you know, you're taking a pepper spray with you everywhere that you go. Maybe you take self-defense classes, or for some, it may even mean, you know, getting a concealed to carry um, license. But whatever it is, just make sure that you are always aware of your surroundings. Okay guys, it's a Thursday and it's been overcast all freaking day. The one day that I decided to record, it is cloudy outside and of course that's affecting my lighting because I have really good lighting in my apartment but we're gonna just work with what I got right now. Uh, but my move to Florida was definitely my attempt at just realigning my focus, you know, and working towards things that add value to myself. Um, I personally think I'm just a little or I was really sheltered, especially for my age. And I just wanted to, you know, experience more. You know, I have a really supportive family and they continue to do a lot for me, um, especially my mom. I think she has done a great job, an excellent job actually, at just making sure that I'm not one, but always two steps ahead, you know? And I'm like, okay, Elsie, I think you have the tools to be functional in society, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so I just thought it was time for me to spread my wings. You know, back home, I didn't have much responsibilities or bills, but now I do. and. It's gonna sound really weird what I'm about to say, but I honestly, I like the adulting life. I like having responsibilities, you know, I love um, managing my finances and just my time. And I, I really am enjoying this new life that I created or this new chapter that I started um, for myself. Each month, you know, I create like a budget for myself. I like watching or managing my finances. Like, okay, this month you have your bills. Okay, you're gonna save this amount of money this month. Okay. Maybe you should treat yourself this month, you know, so I just I love managing myself We do not get to control a lot of things in life But the one thing that I feel that we shouldn't be able to have control over is our personal space I love peace and I can come home at the end of the day or whatever and just come home to my space Soothing relaxing stress-free, you know, you're able to unwind So yes, there are perks about, you know, having your own space if I want to be a little ratchet, I play a little music and dance, <laughs> whatever it is. I just, I love having control over that one thing and it's just my space. I can control who comes in and out of here, not to say that people are coming in and out of my apartment, but you get what I'm saying. This video is not just about me and updating my viewers about where I am and what I'm doing, but I honestly, I would like to just inspire or plant at least a small seed in at least one of my viewers. I think it's important for us to dedicate time and energy into elevating ourselves, into creating a better life for ourselves, you know, being dedicated to things that help improve our quality of life. If you have been thinking about going back to school, um, starting your own business, you know, being an entrepreneur, maybe um, getting into a career that you've been thinking about, entertain that idea. You know, you never know what it may lead you to and how successful you can become, you know. And if you do decide to take on a new journey or start a new chapter in your life, um, expect challenges, expect detours, delays, because um, honestly, the challenges that we encounter along the way, it helps us to build character. You know? I am really goal-oriented and very structured. I set goals and I have set goals for myself and I'm like, okay, I'll see, you're gonna do this, this, and this time and this is what's gonna happen and that's not how life is. You know, I'm still learning this but you have to really be flexible with how things happen and how things play out because, you know, you could set a goal, hey, I, you know, by next year, I'm gonna do this and that and then it may take you like five years, you know? So 
just expect the unexpected and be open to the unknown and starting something new taking on a new challenge starting a new chapter it can be hard you know it can be uncomfortable and that's okay because we do not we don't grow where we are comfortable you're not going to strengthen your skills by doing the same thing you have to challenge yourself you know you have to do something that maybe you haven't done before you know for me i'm still kind of getting adjusted to my environment it's a process and just allow that process to happen you know but all i'm saying is be more open-minded about your journey okay and um be patient um be flexible and be confident and trust the process i honestly didn't have anything holding me back when i left home you know i don't have any children um i had no ties i mean besides my family they can always come and visit me if they want to spend time with me but i really didn't have anything holding me back so the move was really easy um you know i know that some women are young and they have children i can't speak for you because i'm not, I'm not a mom um but um if you are young like myself and you are goal oriented or you just you want to change in life um you want to promote yourself or just better your your living conditions or improve the quality of your life work towards it you know be intentional about everything that you do some people are okay with just getting by with life some people are not really goal oriented or driven i know that's not me but if that's you that's fine you know but i think it's important to always create or be meaningful you know i want to create positive and meaningful experiences for myself and of course include my loved ones in those experiences and that's what i'm doing right now i'm i'm creating a life that i want for myself you don't know where i'm going to be in the next couple of months what i'm going to be doing um even a year from now i don't know but i want to share that journey with you and i want to be able to encourage you to do better you know um to start that new chapter so all that ranting is done with i honestly hope that i was able to you know and get through to someone today at least one of my viewers um you know i'm all about positivity promoting success growth and happiness you know and yeah so if you want to watch me on my journey as i grow and i elevate my life um and be more positive um definitely continue to watch don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video